Good afternoon, lifestyle lovers. Welcome back to It's E Lifestyle. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Erica. My channel is called It's E Lifestyle. And it is all about creating the lifestyle that you love. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I don't know why I'm all cheery because I got a lot of shit to do. Okay. This is the start of a new vlog. I just, now my battery is going dead. Okay. What the? I just decided I want to go ahead and start today's vlog. I don't know what I'm going to get accomplished in this vlog because I have so much that needs to be done. But I told you guys in the last vlog that I wanted to kind of start getting my room back together after the bathroom renovations. I want to talk to you guys a little bit more in detail about the bathroom renovations because I have an issue. And I don't think it's fair to share all of the good stuff and not share the bad stuff. So I do want to share that with you in this vlog. And we'll just see what's yet to come. Today is Saturday. It's probably about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I am working on a PowerPoint presentation for my interior design class that has to be done by Monday morning. So between me trying to do whatever else, I am going to be working on my homework as well as I have a quiz. So this, after this assignment, there's one left. I told you guys on the last vlog, I have a 95 A average. I am trying to keep that A average, but it's been taking a lot of my time. So, um, and I also want to get me some fresh flowers um, for my new table setup that you guys seen in the last vlog. It looks so good i'm loving it and i just know some fresh flowers is gonna set that space off so i want to get some fresh flowers for my table and for my island but i probably won't get that done today so i may do like some talk over in this vlog just so i can get stuff done i may not do do as much interacting with you guys but we're gonna get some shit done in this vlog so let's get the vlog started and i'll check back in with you guys later Okay, lifestyle lovers, so it's a little later on in the night. I showed you guys on the last vlog that I purchased a new memory foam mattress topper, and I am so eager to put it on my bed. I've had one before, and I absolutely loved it. The last one that I had, it was a little bit more firmer than I prefer, and I prefer a soft bed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by removing my mattress so I can go ahead and lay my rug down and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my new mattress topper for my bed. If you are interested in the panels that are on the wall, those were purchased from Vamp Panels a few years ago. I will link their website in the description box as well as I have a platform bed. I do have a bedroom tour here on my channel so I will link that in the description box if you're new here and you like to know where everything was purchased from. But I'm going to go ahead and try to get my room somewhat together after my bathroom renovation. Feels like the first time Throw away all my pride Don't wanna say I love you first But holding it in just might make me burst love in the open daydreaming hoping melting in our make-believe new worlds whispering winds bring the remembrance that you're my girl no shame no game 
up my power Yes, afraid to lose each other Counting the hours till I see you again Could you be life lover and best friend? Waiting for text back Wondering where lifestyle lovers i am going to kind of give you some updates um on the bathroom and what kind of went wrong with the with the renovations as i was telling you at the beginning of the vlog but when i tell you my shower 
is everything, okay? That shower head is everything. I think it's like 144 nozzle, nozzles or spouts or whatever on the shower. And all 144 of them hit my body. Oh my God. It's like a spa experience in my bathroom. And that is what it is all about. But I wanted to kind of share some things with you guys. Most of you know the major part of the renovations are done. I had a tub in here prior. I'm going to insert some pictures of what it looked like prior. I told you guys a few vlogs back that pretty much my bathrooms were the only thing that I wanted that, that I kind of felt like did not match the rest of, of my home. They were outdated. This is how the bathrooms look when I, you know, when I moved in. And I said, you know, to myself at some point, I wanted to renovate the bathroom. So this is my year to do that, starting with my bathroom. I have three bathrooms in my townhome. So downstairs, there's a powder room. Um, and I do have a powder room tour on my channel, I think. Um, downstairs, there's a powder room. So there's just a sink and a toilet. And then upstairs, um, there's a you know where there was a tub in here and there's a tub in the other bathroom which is the one that my son utilizes so most of the time i'm taking a shower um i do like to take a nice little bubble bath every now and then but i still do have a tub in my home i am going to keep the tub in the other bathroom but most of the times i like a hot shower so i just wanted to customize my bathroom to to me to what i like and that's what it's all about creating a lifestyle that you love um however there was some issues with um the renovation so this is pretty much i wanted to kind of give you guys like um a up close of the finishings it kind of looks like a marble it's um it's like that shiny type of porcelain tile which originally i wanted to go with the matte um, but I was talking to my friend who is a housing contractor. He convinced me to go with the shiny, you know, like the shiny type of porcelain towel. And I'm glad he did because he said it looks really, really good in the stand up shower. This is my shower head. It's a 12 inch shower head. And if you guys remember a few vlogs back, I told you I did not think that I was going to be able to use it. Reason being, I'm going to show you the, uh, the shower rod that it came with. So this is pretty much the shower rod that it came with because it was supposed to be like a rain shower, but I did not want it to be a rain shower. I do not want to submerge my head in water when I'm taking a shower. It doesn't matter if I have a shower cap on or not because most of the time I go to the salon. I don't really do my hair at home. A lot of times I go to salon go to the salon to get my hair did. And when I come home and I got a fresh do, I don't want to put a shower cap on and have hot water coming over my head because that's going to mess up my whole hair do. So I wanted my shower to be at an angle and I did not think I was going to do that. If you guys remember in the vlogs, I shared like a curved shower head that did not work. So I'm going to tell you um, at the last minute, we end up going to get a shower head from Home Depot. It probably was like $15 or $16 if I can find it. I'll link it in the description box. When I say shower head, I mean shower rod. So let me just show you guys what I'm talking about so I won't confuse you. This is what I'm talking about. This, we got that from Home Depot. It was like a generic brand and I was able to have my um, shower head at an angle. I also do have the sprayer as well. My contractor told me that he turned the water pressure up um, on my shower. So everything has, it's the perfect water pressure. It is perfect. So as far as that part of the renovation, it went perfectly. I love my shower. However, there was an issue when, and my contractor, he kind of noticed this immediately, but he told me to just, you know, use the shower and let him know, you know, if I was noticing um, any puddling. So this is pretty much the bottom of the shower. Um, so 
as I have been using the shower, I have been noticing puddling. And puddling is pretty much where water will, will gather in certain parts of the shower. So under this, under this towel is cement. Um, there is a liner between the towel and the cement, but under this towel is cement. So basically my contractor created a cement, uh, okay, lifestyle lover, so I'm gonna just kind of sit down so I can talk to you guys. So basically my contractor, he created a cement bed up under the towel. So the cement bed is pretty much supposed to be at a slope. So when the rain, when the, when the shower comes down, the water, if you've ever been in a, in a shower or in a tub or whatever, if you notice, once you let the drain up or get ready to get out, the water is pretty much supposed to flow towards the drain. Um, and it's not doing that. You know, it's not doing that uh, for all of the water. So basically, when I get out the shower, what I'm having to do is since all of the water is not flowing towards the drain, basically when I get out the shower, I am having to basically kind of take the water, take my feet, and there's no water in here now, but take my feet and kind of push the water towards the drain so all of the water goes out. So I have, you, you guys know I'm good about doing my own research. So I started doing my own research after I figured out um, that was the issue. One of the things I could have done was I could have gotten a shower pan. These are very common in showers and basically it's a shower pan. It's just a white shower pan um, where it, it already has the slope built in it, um, but it doesn't give you the option of, it doesn't give you the option to customize with your tile. Um, and also what I found out since I've been doing my research as well is you can actually get a slope, um, a pan that already has the slope built in that can be tiled. Um, but the bad thing about that is the only way to fix this is to pull the floor up basically tear up the tile and do it again so <laughs> uh so i'm not happy about that at all um but i did want to share it with you guys because i don't feel like it's you know it's fair to share all of the good and the happy stuff about the home renovation and not share the downside to getting a home renovation it was basically uh, my contractor's fault because um, he just either he didn't level it. He didn't, you know, do the slope like he was supposed to. He did, you know, state that he would do it over. Um, that's not something that I want to go through, although I'm going to get it done, just not right away. But I'm feeling some type of way about that anyway. Um, but again, one of the good things about this is this floor tile was not my first choice. It was actually my second choice. So um, another thing that I'm gonna recommend when you're going through a home renovation, go with your first choice. That's what I should have done, but the first choice was really expensive. It was almost as much as the wall tile. However, we, we, we wouldn't have needed as much as we thought we needed. Um, but this was my second choice and I like it. I just don't like it as much as I like my first choice. So um, there may be some rework that will be done at some point. I'm not really sure when I'm gonna have him come in and redo it, but it does have to be done. And I think I'm gonna go with my first choice if he has to pull the floor up. But he did advise me, agree that he would cover the cost um to do the rework it's just i just i don't feel like being bothered with that um but my led mirror is on the way so once that gets here i'm going to call an electrician have him install that i probably will go ahead and do some of the other stuff that i want to do to the bathroom i do want to um paint it the same color that my bedroom is i want to kind of bring that 
into the bathroom. I thought I wanted to keep it white, but I really, I don't. I don't want to keep it white. Um, but I wanted to share that with you guys. The last clip, I was basically getting a room together. So I did go ahead and put my, um, my mattress topper on and make my bed. I was able to go to a friend's house and wash up my bed linen. So this is pretty much how it's looking. I haven't done anything different. I did bring my chase back in here. So I do have my chase here. But it's just pretty much still needs to be um, cleaned up. So, okay, Lifestyle Lover. So I'm getting ready to get my work day started. I just wanted to kind of update you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on some clothes and get logged on. I did order some new Nespresso pods that came in. I believe they came in yesterday. So I'm probably going to try one of the new flavors that I ordered. So I'll share that with you guys. And we'll go ahead and get our work day started. She like me. She might be what I need. She get spicy. Want to taste this? Come by me. Yeah. I'm icy. Way too icy. I get paper. I'm big screen. I'm spikely. I'm vibey. Just vibey. Too wavy. I can tell they wanna get like me. Yeah. I'm vibey. Just vibey. Too wavy. Come and get like me. I'm never living a bit in a timid straight shooter I'm dumping the clip that I'm dipping Hitting the mark with the waviest art I rage with my heart and it's right with my wrists Cut up the pay with the real ones I see if you million we want it, we need it, let's get it Long live the niggas that get it They live how they say it A sentence, we really the trillest Please don't pretend with that love that you sending This if you like me, I call me the Bennett Somebody tell God, forgive me, I'm sinning I think that she know, but he got me, I'm winning Cloud is a dangerous drug and your phone is the plug Everybody on that shit pretending So many lost and they chasing what's trending Boy, yeah, let's forget it, I'm back to my sis I'm only helping a man in the mirror From here on, I'm open, I'm fucked Focus. Okay, I lied if you riding, I'm riding, I put on the folks and trust in me Get with it, come f with me I don't bet it's love, you stuck with me I'm coming in clutch for me Get with it, they get lost, ain't nobody touching me, yeah She like me, she might be what I need She get spicy, want taste this, come by me, yeah I'm icy, way too icy I get paper, I'm big screen, I'm spiky She like me, she might be what I need Too wise, way too wise I get paid, I big screen, I spike me I'm vibing, just vibing Too wavy, I can tell they wanna get like me yeah. I'm vibing, just vibing Too wavy, come and get like me A lot has changed me. Money when I'm bored. Watch the money hit the floor. Make it rain, make it pour. I count money when I'm bored. Watch the money hit the floor. Make it rain, make it pour. In my house, don't need no floor. It's just me and a fam. It's just me and a fam. It's just me and a fam. It's just me and a. It's just me and a fam. Yeah, yeah. It's just me and a fam. See my little Tay Tay, that's my hype girl, that's my mascot. No one's go for hours and some hours till we pass out. Stay inside the house, turn up with the racks out. Stay inside the house, turn up with the racks out. Wow. If I got it, they got it, got it. Family strong, they solid, solid. For them empty my pockets. If I got it, we got it, got it. Foundation been solid, solid. Taking off like a rocket, yeah. I count money when I'm bored. Watch the money hit the floor. Make it. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So it's a little bit later on in the evening. I wanted to come to you guys and show you what I got from Home Goods. Do not walk 
run to home goods home goods has all of the goods i did like a mini um shot with me so i can kind of show you guys what they had and i picked up a few things i was not planning to spend anything now had i would have walked in home goods planning to spend some money looking for something i i wouldn't have found nothing but the fact that i walked in well i was i was going to get a new flower vase which is what i picked up so i want so I, I do have a flower vase that i'm gonna place on my dining table you guys will get to see that on the next vlog because i did not have time to go to um the florist i did not have time to go to the florist so i am going to go ahead and end this vlog and then i'll go to the florist on the next vlog but i got this beautiful vase um it was only 16.99 so I'm going to put this on my island. I'm going to go get me some fresh flowers. I want to put some fresh flowers on my table. And I also want some fresh flowers on my island. That's not a habit that I'm going to try to keep up. But I do want to do it at least once a month. It just looks so good. If you pay attention, like if you're standing in line at the grocery store, you flip through some of the home magazines and they show the expensive houses just about on every page when you look at the beautiful rooms and how they're decorated they have fresh flowers either they're on the coffee table either they're either they're on the bookshelf or on the island or on a dining table that's one way i can tell you that makes your house look expensive is fresh flowers so i want to try to do that at least once a month in my home i know it's kind of an expensive habit to keep up running to the floor running to the florist and getting fresh flowers but this is a vase that i'm going to place on my island and then my other vase that i have which came from h and h and m home is sold out i do get asked a lot about that vase i'm going to put that on the dining table so you guys will get to see that i also purchased some pillows so let me sit this over here i'm trying to decide if i'm going to keep the pillows but i kind of feel like I need to jazz up my room a little bit but these are the pillows I purchased two of them but if I'm gonna keep them I'm gonna need a, probably a third one so this is how they look they're white and then they have like the gold detail in it so i may need like if i i may need like one more i haven't decided if i'm gonna keep them but just to kind of show you guys how they will look i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna keep them or not um Maybe adding some wallpaper behind this wall. I kind of feel like I need something to kind of jazz it up in here. I don't know why, but it's just looking with all of the neutral colors, the neutral bedding and the neutral shears. It's just looking a little bit blah in here. So I don't know if I'm going to keep those, but I did purchase both of those just to kind of bring them home, see how they look. And then I also purchased this night um not night this side table it was $129.99 it's made by Tahari home but it looks so good look at that and look at that the artwork it pairs so perfectly with the artwork so let me kind of move move everything out so you guys can see it <clears throat> So this is how that looks. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Let me just make sure the closet door. Okay, kind of kind of acts as a stopper for the closet door. But I don't know. Hmm. Tell me what you think. Should I keep it? I did have one here before, but it was one that I kind of, I uh, spray painted. It was like something that I tried to recreate a RH dupe. 
but I really like the I really like the surface and how it kind of goes with everything in the uh, everything in the artwork. That's one of the things that we've been learning in the interior design class, like how to, um, the word is used, how to deconstruct artwork and not only just pull colors out, but also pull shapes out. So, you know, you can kind of take an artwork, one piece of artwork and design a whole home around the artwork, around the colors, around the background around the shapes the concept um so that's one of the things i've been learning in my interior design class i have one more assignment left looks like i'm going to end it with the a thank god that's one reason why i didn't get the sunday vlog out but i am going to go ahead and try to get this vlog out and get another vlog out and get a vlog out on sunday we'll see what happens with that but i want to kind of get back on track my goal is to have two vlogs a week one during the week and then one on Sunday because I want to get back on track. I want to start being consistent. Um, so that's my goal. We'll see. We'll see if I'm able to do that. But in the next vlog, Lifestyle Lovers, I do have my new washer coming tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. That is going to help me get my life back on track because I have tons of clothes around here that needs to be washed i'm so excited it will be here tomorrow so you guys will get to see that on the next vlog but that is pretty much it for this vlog lifestyle lovers i hope you enjoyed it um as always i hope you have a great week a great weekend whenever you're watching this i love you guys and i'll see you on the next vlog bye